house here in Washington, D.C. with a 7 kilowatt uh, AC photovoltaic system. I have 22 uh, 230 watt panels. Uh -huh. 18 panels. It's 2.7 kilowatts. It was uh, one day for the most part, and then the second day they just did the interconnection. And we put the little plastic attachments, spacing them such that they are actually consistent with what the roof uh, shingles mm -hmm. spacing is. So it's aesthetic in the sense of uh, it's as tight as you can get it. So the passive solar home it has uh, southern exposure, takes advantage of the sun's rays in order to heat the house. So it's the sun, uh, when it's lower in the sky in the wintertime, the rays come in and then heat up the thermal mass. So in this home, we have concrete floors as well as a wall system made out of compressed earth blocks in order to absorb the sun's rays and then that slowly emits uh, the, uh, the heat. So here's an example of a compressed earth block. Uh, these are dry stacked in the walls and then it has a rebar reinforced concrete column and a bond beam system that locks everything in place. So I was just looking at the meter right now, it's producing a, a, lot, a little over 2,000 watts. I've been averaging about 25 uh, kilowatt hours a day. And I'm net metering and I've used 2,400 kilowatts more than I've generated. Cost me 25,000 and uh, after incentives will cost 8,000. And then in three years, it'll pay for itself completely. It's an evacuated tube system, which is uh, for uh, heating water. And that probably, if you want to measure it, has a payback period in the probably six or seven year range. Very simple, uh, no maintenance whatsoever. And uh, it's probably one of those things that should be put on every new house that's built. I've been following this for 20 years, and I wanted to do what I have been preaching. <laughs> right now it's doing cookies. Uh -huh. We've done rice and casseroles and chicken and stuff in there on the weekends. Okay. You need a little time, you, uh -huh. it, but it's very effective. Uh -huh. it works. We're, we're looking at uh, about 25% uh -huh. of our consumption. 93% of our electricity that we use. And remember, these were covered up for two weeks during uh -huh. the snowstorms. So, uh, snow <laughs> yeah. so, you know, we're getting pretty close to 100%, which we're excited about. You know, yesterday when it was all cloudy in the morning, mm -hmm. it was down about 10% of its production mm -hmm. when it was really heavy clouds. Microinverters can, can really simplify the design. Mm -hmm. The blue shows what was predicted for the system production, and the red is what I've actually produced. At the panel level, here's at the bottom of the tank, 148, 140 at the top of the tank. So basically this acts as kind of a hybrid system. You know, in a dead of winter, I'm going to have to turn that back on. I got uh, $3,500 from Virginia yeah. from Stimulus Fund. I'll get a 30% tax credit this year. Um, and then uh, I sold the renewable energy credits um, for $3,500. So How much did it cost you to go solar? Well, I made 500 bucks. We've, we've trimmed a little bit here and there, but ultimately it's been uh, using Solar Magic, which is really mm. helped, which is a power conditioner that, it, that is put on each one of the panels on the roof and it allows panels to, to really talk to each other and when we do get a little shading which happens because we you know we have trees here uh, it allows the system to continue to operate at the highest level uh -huh. of performance possible it increased our performance by about 20 percent since we installed it a year ago it, uh, it's just nice to know you're kind of uh, doing the right thing